wish that every day of the year could have love. Hello everyone. My name is Vanessa. Welcome to Classy Crafting and Parcels. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. And for those who have been watching or are returning, thank you again for popping in. I would love to hear when you started watching the channel. I'm, it's almost coming up to two years that I have been creating DIYs, sharing Dollar Tree hauls with you guys, crafts, paper crafts, that's my favorite thing to do, such as pocket letters and um, anything that's like more crafty stuff in the craft room. I love sharing with you guys. I'd love to hear when you guys started watching the channel. I do chat with quite a few of you in the comments below and am familiar with some names and faces. However, I'd love to hear uh, when you did join along on this little channel and this little community. Today I have three little simple DIYs using Dollar Tree material. All of the material is from Dollar Tree and a couple little things from my backyard. And I was definitely inspired by Pottery Barn. After browsing their website, I saw these cute little brass deer. Uh, they were picture frames and they were roughly $65. And I was like, well, I can kind of make something with the Dollar Tree material. And of course, with a dollar 25 here in Canada, that's what we pay, I was able to transform a cute little item. And I kind of made it, of course, into my own. It wasn't really a picture frame it's more of like a little word sign but anyways I hope you guys enjoy this tutorial if you do please let me know down below what your favorite DIY of the three were and if you'll be creating something similar for your home decor until next time everyone I hope you enjoy this tutorial bye for now I'm using one of the larger foam cones from the Dollar Tree and also the twine and I always like to work my way from the bottom up when it's um, when I'm wrapping things around an item and it's just easier to manipulate and work with and see how much you need of something. So I'm going to border the bottom and then I'm going to start hot gluing little pieces here and there maybe like every two or three inches just to make sure I'm securing down this twine. As you start to work your way around you'll notice you can place some hot glue and then what happens is it kind of like spews a little bit under or over and you're able to kind of wind it up a couple times around the cone without having to constantly put hot glue. You'll figure it out once you start doing it you'll see it gets a little easier than at the very beginning and once you're doing this you'll start to see that you have little white spaces in between it's almost impossible to get every little white spot covered up. Don't worry because I'm going to show you how to fix that and make this cone look really really nice as you work your way around the cone okay as you get closer to the top just apply hot glue here and there until you're able to secure a nice little twirly effect right up to the tippy top because you want it to have a nice even consistency with the rest of your cone So here you will see that there are all of these little foam, the white foam in behind the twine, but you're going to quickly fix this by just applying one dab of hot glue. That's all you need. This is super easy this time. You're going to wind up the twine really, really quickly all around. You can even bring the, the twine sometimes down and back up just to give it a little more texture on the outer surface or layer of this wrap. And it's just going to make the cone look so much heavier than it actually is. Because we know it's foam, but no one else, when looking at the decor, will ever imagine it's foam, right? It could be a piece of wood for all you know underneath here. So continue wrapping the twine all the way to the top again. And then applying one little dab of hot glue and you are complete. And it has a nice thick finish with the two layers of twine on here and it took about one little roll from the Dollar Tree to do this entire foam cone. So I thought hmm, it needs a little more, a little something extra on the cone so I'm going to take some of the little wooden 
buttons from the Dollar Tree as well. And this one here is plain. You can Mod Podge them, of course. I'm using three different little buttons just to give it some texture, and that is all you need. Now remember, you can put a little bell, you can put a little bow, you can put some ribbon here. Don't have to use the buttons. Make it fit your style. But I absolutely love the simplicity of this and the elegance that it will bring for the rest of this DIY. So I'm looking forward to sharing the next part with you guys. So for this next DIY, it's super simple. You get to choose the size of canvas you want to work with. These ones here are, I'm going to choose the 8x10, which is the larger canvas, or the 5x7 actually. No, I'm going to stick with the 5x7. I think it's going to be perfect for this little DIY. So I'm going to take the canvas actually apart because I want to remove all of the staples along the side of this wood frame. We're going to kind of put things back together. I'm using an X-Acto knife here to just slice up a bit of the canvas. It was giving me some trouble. So this was the easiest and smoothest. You don't want to rip the canvas, so make sure you're removing this in one nice piece. So with a staple remover, it's very easy to pop these little guys right off of the side of the frame. Make sure you've removed them all and now choose the side you want to work with. This one here has a lip, so you have the option to work with this side or the flat side. I'm looking for a little bit more modern, rustic look, so I've decided I'm going to paint this here. I'm using a cotton towel and paint, acrylic paint, just to do this job along with a little bit of black shoe polish from the Dollar Tree. These are all items from the Dollar Tree. Just going to use your cloth and rub in the paint. And the reason for the shoe polish was I was looking for a little bit more of a gray tone. And so with the white acrylic and the shoe polish, I definitely got that mix of color I was looking for. I'm going to rub the paint on the exterior of the frame, the internal and the flat part here. And then I'm using the black shoe polish to give a little bit of dimension and depth to the frame. So you'll see here I border the sides, um, certain areas, not the entire frame, so it doesn't look all you know identical and then again I'm using my cloth to smudge out all of the paint adding a little bit more white acrylic paint rubbing it in and just um, giving that final touch to the frame now I'm going to share with you exactly how this dries because then I have a couple more steps after this first layer dries and the reason here is because I want to add some glitter but you see here I added a little bit of black on the sides and it just brings the piece of wood it just makes it look really rustic and finished and it looks like weathered and washed out I don't know I just really like the way this turned out here so you see here like a little bit of that black shoe polish just gives it that extra old kind of antique finish so now since everything is nice and dry I'm taking just complete white acrylic paint and I'm going to rub it in certain little areas just to finish off and give it that third layer effect just to give it a little bit more dimension and character to the wood and the frame and make it a little bit more I'm not sure get like a whitewash barn wash look. Make sure you do the internal part of the frame, the external, um, the flat part. And once you're happy with that look, here's a little extra thing you can do. You can take some Mod Podge, get some of your favorite colored glitter, mix it in together. And with a sponge brush, just gently rub some glitter in certain parts of the frame just to give it that little extra sparkle. I just thought that the sparkle would finish it with a little Christmas touch. Um, you definitely can skip this if you're not planning on using the frame for a Christmas saying. Don't forget this is super versatile and you can make it work with your home decor. You can write the word love, anything really that goes with your home. This does not have to be a Christmas DIY. I took some sandpaper and just, if there was too much glitter in a certain area and I wanted to remove it, I just gently brushed it away with the sandpaper and it cleaned it up right away. So in order to transfer a word to the canvas, I used some wax paper, attached it to a printer page, and fed this shiny part of the wax page um, through an inkjet printer. Now, I when I created the word on Microsoft Word, I mirrored it so that when you reversed, obviously transferred onto the canvas, the word would be, you would read it from left to right. 
So I'm just positioning the frame here just to see if the word is in the right location. And now you're going to want to use a tool such as like a boning tool. Um, I'm using this little plastic stick. You can use the cap of a Sharpie marker to apply some pressure and rub the entire surface over the black ink to transfer it over onto this canvas. Now I made a little bit of a mistake. I didn't do a bold black print on the screen and I should have made sure to have that filled in um, to avoid any of these little, I don't know, like it, what, it should have been a nice black transfer and that was my mistake. So just make sure that you're doing that. Now this looks really nice because it does go with the gray. However, I'm still going to try to make this black by using Sharpie markers. So with a very fine tip Sharpie, I'm outlining the letters and then I'm going to use a regular tipped Sharpie to fill it in. And then just, you have to be a little bit patient here. And this is why I wish that my, that I had filled in or bolded the letters on the computer. And it's my mistake, but we'll manipulate this to make it work. Now you can use the back of your canvas. It's the exact same material. So if you had made the same mistake as me, you can easily just reverse your canvas. However, I just wanted to work with this one time. I didn't want to have like any visible letters on the back end but I think this worked out okay I filled it all in with the sharpies and it's okay so what I'm going to do now is reattach the canvas to the wood and it's quite easy you can staple on the canvas back to the wood I'm using these little thumbtacks from the Dollar Tree I just thought it was easier um, I'm pressing them down they went right into the wood very very easily if you want to use a little hammer you can as well um, and then once that's positioned in place just cut off any of the extra canvas that's sticking out with your exacto knife to give it a nice clean sharp look So I noticed that this was just a little bit loose here and I'm just running a little bead of hot glue just to seal in the bottom so it's not kind of flapping or making it look like there's a little gap once it's standing up. I decided, well, I'm gonna add a little bit more to the outside of the frame. I'm painting some branches from outdoors white um, and just kind of use, just using acrylic paint and giving it one coat was plenty. And now this is the dry version and I'm just going to apply it to the outside of the frame here. And this was definitely Pottery Barn inspired because they had some really cute reindeer frames. And I just thought, you know what, that looks really cute and it kind of looked like a branch. So I thought I'd use some branches from outdoors. <laughs> it's very easy and inexpensive. And once you hot glue it down, it's not moving anywhere. Now I'm just gonna show you how the little glitter is just sparkling here on the frame. You can add a little bit of glitter as well to the branches if you'd like. I just kept them white so that they would pop a little bit on the frame. I just love the way the little, just this, just the little subtle glitter just looks so pretty. So now I'm going to create this little faux fur tree, I guess. Again, using the little cones. Now these ones are the mini foam cones from the Dollar Tree. They come in a pack of three, and I think they're about three inches in height. So you're gonna use some of the eyelash yarn as well from the Dollar Tree, and just work your way around it, overlapping it, but giving about half a centimeter distance. So when you're hot gluing, about half a centimeter, and then you'll start to see it creates like a little Christmas tree effect. And when you're working the, the top, just be a little patient as you finish off wrapping the top you want to cover the entire foam area with a little bit of the faux fur or the eyelash yarn and just making sure that it's got a nice finish touch to the tip.
And that's it. Those are your three DIYs to make to get to put together these this little Christmas decor or themed display. I hope you guys enjoyed these DIYs. Thank you so very much for watching and until next time everyone, have a great day. Bye for now.